It's my sincere pleasure just to kick off uh, today's summer's conference. And then I'll bring up your host. But beforehand, I just want to uh, take a couple of uh, or a few seconds to just thank uh, the Suns Committee and the great work they've done to put together this uh, conference. Uh, we're having a chat uh, in the office yesterday about the last time there was a Suns I mean, in Auckland. And I think we uh, decided about 1980. So, uh, so it's a long time coming, and, uh, and it's great that uh, we were able to have this event today. Look, um, um, in the past, SAS had a, a large involvement um, in some but I'm really, really fantastic that the new committee has picked it up and really owning, uh, um, I suppose, you guys as the sons or the SAS users around being uh, doing a fantastic job of bringing this conference and these sort of things together. I was lucky enough to attend the, the SAS conference, uh, the Sun, sorry, the Suns conference in one year this year, and we had fantastic attendees, uh, great um, uh, speakers, you know, and the likes of um, Bill English uh, turning up. So we've got some great speakers here today. The Suns committee done a great job of getting these people here. So I think it was a fantastic, and, uh, and the day will go, go great for you. So like I think um, uh, what I'd like to just finally say is that um, enjoy the day, ask lots of good questions, make the most of the networking um, with the people here, and um, most of all, you know, um, you know, say ask questions and, and have a good time. So without further ado, I'm really pleased to introduce Rohan Light, who is the uh, chairman and the conference MC for Suns. And uh, welcome, Rohan. Right. Good morning. Uh, yes, my name is Rohan the, the Light Joe, because it's my surname, Rohan Light. Uh, I am the chairman of uh, Suns. I've uh, been with this fantastic committee for two years now. Um, this is our first uh, time back in Auckland for a uh, too long a time. So, uh, when we, I uh, see Auckland's a very fun city. I mean, <laughs> you, you have the best bridges. You should build more of those. Yeah. Oh, no. My mic's now on. Yeah, cool. Alright, so, um, when we took office, uh, one of the first things we did was we said we need to get ourselves up to Auckland and connect with our Auckland community. Uh, then, uh, at the National, at this year, uh, in February, when we uh, completed the event and we were moving into the hospitality phase, we were greeted with lots of Aucklanders saying, uh, bring it up to Auckland. So, brilliant. Uh, we said, hey, no worries. Uh, how hard can it be? We'll be there in a couple of months. Um, but of course, that was February and this is August. And the thing is, is that when we put our mind to it, we thought, oh, hang on, uh, what are we going to do for our Auckland community? What is our Auckland community? Who are they? What are they interested in? And so that's what took us uh, quite a while to think about how we're going to build today's event. Uh, the theme for today is show us what's possible, uh, which is a nice analytics -y thing to say, but it's also uh, an invitation from us. We want to know what Aucklanders uh, expect from a Suns community to show us what's possible, what we should be doing here for you. The thing about Suns, what we try and do is we try and uh, wrap our own arms around the community, um, make it easy for people to come together, to uh, learn from each other, to connect with each other uh, over organisational boundaries. So we are all about the community and what we do. So um, who is here today? We have, um, this is our first uh, step into Auckland. From our registrations we had um, mainly analysts but we also had a whole bunch of manager types. Um, so we have a mixed bag of people here today, uh, mainly private sector, mainly banking. Um, so again, uh, what Suns does is it makes it easy for SaaS users to talk to each other about the SaaS and the problems you're solving. So today is the day that you know, the ANZ guys and the BNZ guys and the Westpac guys and the ASB guys um, can talk about how they use the SAS to solve problems within their organisational boundaries. The modern um, SAS user is uh, all about um, uh, mul solving multiple problems, solving really difficult problems, and they have to be in multiple packs. So you'll learn about, you'll learn about that from each other. So, who is a SUNS member? It's pretty straightforward, it's pretty simple. It's someone who uses SAS and into analytics. We live in a world of visual analytics, 
as well as the hardcore coding stuff. We have to make room for everybody. Uh, the committee themselves, we are all volunteers. Um, we do this because we think it's important to uh, happen. We have three Auckland committee members here. Hands up, guys. One, two, three. And we have three officers here. That's our secretary, Scott, and our treasurer, Alice, and I'm the chairman. Brilliant. This is what the National looked like uh, in February. Um, yes, we've been running for 34 years. That's a heck of a long time. What that means for us as a committee is that we have a legacy to protect. We have to look at the last 30 years and try and get another 30 more. So what we're trying to do is keep in touch with what the industry is doing. So this year we tried um, a different tack. It was less about SAS stuff, it was more about the problems that people are applying SAS to. Um, record attendees, lots of sponsorship, great media coverage. Um, that over there, the person in the white on the stage is Lillian Grace from Wiki New Zealand, um, our Aucklander, our token Aucklander. We flew her down uh, and she did a great job. She was one of the two opening keynotes. <coughs> we ran a Twitter contest, so we're pushing, um, we're pushing the, the social media side of things. Same as today, there is a tweet competition. Hashtag sons. Um, send out pictures, send out texts, uh, tweets, and just smash it out there. Best tweet judged by the committee wins a Bluetooth speaker, which is a funky little thing. Here it is there. That is a uh, winner from the National, Billy Grushow. She tweeted this uh, when we had the SAS VP of Big Data, Kent, and his little speech, just in case you can't read it. Hadoop, in essence, is 10 people eating a slice of data pie each, rather than one person trying to eat a whole data pie. What I liked about this is that I uh, contextualised it and broke it down into a really simple way. Right, we are a uh, non-for-profit, non independent uh, organisation. We uh, emphasise this so that we can have different types of conversations in the analytics community. The reason why that is important is because at the moment there isn't really a good strong voice of the user in the industry. What that means is that our sponsors, we have a slightly different relationship with them. They're really important stakeholders. They are investing in the future of the association and they are <coughs> investing in confidence for us. So today, reports by Stella, who will be giving us the awesome lunch later on which is, by the way, the big networking opportunity you've got. The coffee cart there, which we're running with those who use it. Run by here, Kata. Yay! <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Rochelle's from uh, Brisbane. That's just fine, That's okay. Um, we're also in this awesome place. Uh, couldn't do better. There's a lot of work in the background to get sons here. And as I've been informed, we are the first non-spark people to have a space. So uh, that is awesome. Um, sons is also like a teenager. Uh, wants to be independent, but uh, mum and dad still pay for lots of little things. <laughs> Getting a, an event up here from Wellington is really hard when you're only volunteers. And SAS just backs us up so much. We're so stoked. Um, also, this is where I do the emergency stuff. In the event of bad stuff happening, everyone stay together. The committee members will act as uh, sheepdogs to keep us all together. We're going out that door, we're turning left, we're going through the main doors, right down the street, and walking calmly away from disaster. Uh, and the, the uh, conveniences on the other side of the big house, all the way to the end of the building, past the coloured glass wall, turn left, and you're there. Right, this guy. Um, the Minister is a big supporter of data-enabled leadership. Uh, he's hopefully going to see more and more of these sort of uh, executives come in. This is something he said in a meeting organised by James Mansell, who's a data activist across New Zealand doing all sorts of awesome stuff. Uh, it was a meeting with data analysts. The topic went to a, a technical, uh, took a technical turn. All of the analysts then had a massive uh, argument and discussion until someone said statistical significance, in which case the minister said, ah, yes, but 
Festival significance doesn't always mean business significance. And what he's saying there is two things. Keep your eye on the problem. Don't get lost in your funky tools. Keep your eye on the problem. The second thing was that when you have solved a big problem and you've figured out how to show people what's possible, and you're taking the answer to these senior people, you have to speak in their language, not yours. It's no good being right if you can't make yourself understood. That's uh, my little message for today. That's our agenda. So um, it's interesting. On the run sheet that we all have, these things are all in uh, three minutes and two minutes. Because uh, you know, we, we run against like nothing. We are absolute Nazis all the time. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to just move through things really fast. We've got three keynotes, the tips and tricks, the, uh, the question times are built into the uh, keynote speakers, and we're just going to roll with it. We've got the morning tea and then the lunch at the end. And then the lunch at the end is when you do your business. Right. Any questions at this stage? We are about to kick off.